Hey everybody, it's Doug Shelf with Remax Oceanside and MakeManYourHome.com. Now guys, I think my team's playing a trick on me. I'm gonna try to guess the price of a house nationwide. Let's do this. All right, guys, this is going to be an interesting video. I'm kind of excited about it. We've never done anything like this. My team members have decided to have me guess the price of houses. I'm going to put a little disclaimer here. These houses that I'm looking at are not around here. I have no way of really judging like what's happening in their local areas and how to price houses in those areas. Let's have some fun with this. So house number one, what am I looking at here? So Leah, are you going to tell me some information? Yes, I am. You are looking at a five bed, seven bath, 4,965 square foot house. Five bedroom, seven baths. Holy mackerel. And this looks beautiful. Are you allowed to tell me where this is? So that's going to be clue number two. Do you want it? I do want that. Okay. So this is located in New York City. It's funny. I was gonna, I was looking at this right here saying, I think that's New York City. And especially how big it is. Oh my God, this is going to be millions. Okay. So it is set in the Riverside West End Historic District. Which I know nothing about. <laughs> it's been fully renovated when the current owners bought it. The house features lofty open and airy spaces, wow. soaring ceilings, oh skylights, goodness. and wow. large rooms. I bet you this is gorgeous. There okay. is a top level terrace, a rear garden with mature trees, central air. Is there any view? I mean, aside from just like buildings and city. Nope, it's buildings and city. Like it's not overlooking Central Park or anything like that? No, but it's okay. in a historic neighborhood. Okay. There are heated floors in the kitchen and bathrooms. Nice. And the garden outside is 950 square feet. So New York City, I know not a whole lot about this aside from watching HDTV. I'm going to say $7 million. $7 million? Yeah. Doug, I want to tell you how right on the money you are. Boom! <laughs> Point nine. Oh, yes. I got it. Wow, that was nice. Yeah. Right on the money. Are right, you ready for house two? House two. This is drastically different. What can you tell me about this? Yeah. So this one, you're looking at a four bed, three bath. It's bigger than it looks. Yep. Okay. So here's some information about this. This is in Denver, Colorado. Oh, so it's going to be a little pricey. Denver, Denver's pricey from what I know. Enjoy this stunning, completely remodeled home located in the heart of Congress Park. The <laughs> master is located on the main level with its own private oasis with a walk-in closet and oversized shower. Ooh, nice. Walking into this four bed, three bathroom home, you have an open layout, vaulted wow. ceilings. There's another two bedrooms located off the living area and a stunning large bathroom with double vanity and shower and tub combination. Kitchen has gorgeous natural lighting with floor and ceiling windows that are within the sunroom. This sounds awesome. Downstairs is completely finished for entertaining, extra living space, laundry, and a full bedroom and bath. So four bedroom, three bath, you said? Yep. And here's a little bit about the neighborhood. Okay. Walking distance to the top Denver ranked school, shopping and dining, spacious front and backyard to host friends for fall gatherings with beautiful front backyard landscaping. The curb side appeal is stunning. It looks great. These pictures look awesome. For square footage, we have 2,121 square feet. Wow. But I have one clue for you if you would like it, if you're feeling unsure. Well, I'll take any clue I can get. As of late June, there was a price cut. Oh, a price cut. Of $24,000. Oh, that's it? Yep. It's not much of a price cut. Did it sell? We don't know. Okay. This is a stunning place. I'm surprised a price cut. So I'm going to go with, it is $850. Doug, so close. Really? $825,000. Oh, man. I'm taking that two for two. You know, if you hadn't done the price cut, you would have been right on the market. I can move anywhere in the country and do what I do. We got two more? Two more. House three. Two for two, guys. Let's see if I can get two more. This is in Wyoming. This great little recreational retreat with a fully off grid. Recreational retreat. Two bed, two bath cabin. Okay. With an additional shop utility building. This cabin offers the trifecta of off grid living. Ooh, solar panels and stuff yep. probably. Solar, wind, and a generator for power. Yeah. Oh, solar and wind. Yeah. Along with a 
spring-fed watering system. The property also offers spring-fed pasture with seasonal water that runs through the summer months. The property is adjacent to thousands of acres of preserved land. The cabin lies in the middle of an elk area. There's plenty of birds in the area as well as some great spots for fishing. The property is located three miles south of Atlantic City, but not New Jersey, Wyoming. Wyoming? I know zero about Wyoming. Yeah, it's really in the middle of Wyoming. Honestly, this sounds great. It's like, I want to visit it. I want to go there and I want to hang out for a week. You said two bedroom, two bath? Yep, 972 square feet. Wow, that's small, huh? Um, I'm going to, this is, I'm just pulling it. I'm going to go 275. Oh. Yeah, 195. 195? Yeah, that's way off. 195? 195, Doug. Go buy it. Okay. Jeez. Well, I was hoping to get all four of them, but that's all right. Wyoming. Nice work, guys. All right. Last but not least. All right. House number four. What do we got? We're looking at Portland, Oregon. Three bed, two bath, 2,280 square feet. Now, I know the West Coast is pretty expensive. And I think Portland's included in that. At the end of a quiet cul-de-sac neighboring a park, complete with a view, this restored 1980s daylight ranch is tranquil. Wait, hold on. Did they really just say restored 1980s? Yes. Usually up here, it's like restored 1880s, not 1980s. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Updated with attention to detail and quality while maintaining the original charm. This generous primary bath was impeccably remodeled and the spacious daylight basement has a separate entrance. The cool nice. shady garden can be enjoyed from the wraparound deck and the enormous carport is bright both day and night. This is nice. This looks good. I'm, you know, I'm just going to go with the first numbers that kind of jump in my head. I'm going to go with 650. Doug, 659. <laughs> I'm taking that three out of four guys. Yes. Bang. Um, I'm curious to see what you guys thought of these prices. Were you blown away? I know, I mean, obviously you're amazed with my ability to guess pricing. Well, that was fun. Thank you, team. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me uh, let me know what you thought of all these houses. This is a, and also, you know what? You know what would be good to know? Where would you want to live? New York City, Denver, Wyoming, or Portland, Oregon? Let me know. Comment below. Uh, give me a call, text, email. Uh, hit us up on social media, and remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone.